What's up guys? Today's gonna be a little Van Halen theme day on Protect Your Neck Fitness. Got my cheap knockoff guitar I made, shirt, Van Halen hat. Anyhow guys, let's talk. Is CrossFit a good match to train for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? I remember the first time I heard about CrossFit it was about six years ago. And it was in muscle and fitness, and they're, they're asking this, or saying, or, or something, that this could be the these toughest workouts on the planet. Whatever. Obviously, I was intrigued. Uh, so, you know, I went over to CrossFit.com, and I uh, checked it out. And uh, actually, I did a bunch of the workouts um, over time. Some of the ones, as you might imagine, that I did not like, or any, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, uh, anything timed like in Olympic lifts or box jumps, those type of things. Uh, those type of things, you're definitely, a, you know, certainly wasn't a fan of then, still not a fan of, whatever. But um, I'm not a hater of CrossFit. Let me just get that at this straight right now. And um, let me tell you some of the awesome things that CrossFit has done. And first and foremost, it brought back like a lot of the Olympic lifts and also to the powerlifting lifts. Um, you know, deadlifts and everything are they're, they're performed in, in ordinary gyms now, like all the time. And that didn't happen uh, before CrossFit became popular. You know, so they, they really kind of made these things. They brought these great exercises, things like the, the snatch, uh, clean, those type things. They're back to popularity again. And these are and done safely. These are some of the greatest exercises that you can do in a gym. And so that is the result of CrossFit. And so in in that sense, even if you're the biggest hater in the world. Um, if you're a fan of, of lifting and strength training and, um, and improving yourself in the gym, um, you, you have to be at least thankful for that. And the other thing is, I think it's pretty unique, is they really have a sense of community. Uh, the, the crossers do at their, at their, their, their schools, or uh, actually they call them the box, their gyms. So in their box, they really do. I mean, I know they root each other hard, and they have a great community, and just kind of like us and BJJ, you know, how we root each other on and, and want, want everyone in our schools to succeed. I mean, they do the same things in, in CrossFit, and I think that's that's another positive. Anytime you bring people together, have a community, I mean, that's just an awesome fucking thing. So, you know, yeah, hats off to them. But, and let's see, um, another thing I would say to you guys is I think a lot of people, and this is myself included over time, I kind of looked at CrossFit the completely wrong way, okay? Um, I looked at it as a method of, I guess, training for other sports, when CrossFit, I guess, is is its own sport. Um, like, we train, you know, for, in, in BJJ, you know, BJJ is our sport, that's what we do. Uh, you know, I used to play in basketball leagues, and, and, and myself back then, and also people in the leagues, I mean, that is what we do, you know, we're, we're basketball players. Um, so, what they do is CrossFit. I mean, they they go to they go to the box every day, and they get a new workout and they do it. And that is their sport. Their sport is doing those workouts um, when you know, they, they, and also improving their times and on those workouts and getting stronger on those workouts. That is their sport. I know it seems kind of weird because it's it's training or even you know sometimes looks like gym class. Let's face it, but their sport is is training. I mean, that it doesn't have to make sense, but uh, to us, or for me, it makes sense to me now where it hadn't in the past, but that's just the way, that's the way it is. And I think um, it's just odd that, uh, I guess, you know, it's, just, it, it's, it's not looked at as such. And, you know, who knows, I could be totally wrong on this. If there's any crossers out there, please feel welcome to comment here. You know, I'm definitely down to hear anything you have to say about it. One of the things, too, guys, is I think a lot of the criticism they get is valid. Um, I haven't watched in a few years. Hopefully it's gotten better, but like those CrossFit games I know they had on ESPN and whatever channels. I mean, some of the technique that was approved by the judges was absolutely horrendous. So, um, you know, hopefully they kind of clean that up a bit because, you know, obviously being a sport, you want people to participate, and people can't participate if they're hurt. And when you do things dangerously, people get hurt, so and you lose participants. So hopefully they, they clean it up. But um, conversely, too, a friend of mine in my gym, he, he works only a couple days a week there, but he's a CrossFitter, and he does, but some days, you know, whatever, he's busy working, won't be able to make cross, his CrossFit box that day, so he does things at our gym. Not, not CrossFit, he's not one of those people that sets up everything and takes up all the equipment or anything, but he'll knock out some snatches and cleans and, and those type things, and deadlifts as well. And I tell you, man, his technique is really, really good. Uh, it's as good as anyone that I've seen, besides people that are true, just 
powerlifting strength competitors. Um, other than that, I mean, he's really, a, 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 he's, he's just a notch below them as far as technique. But let's face it, guys, I mean, people do lots of sports that aren't good for them and, and the best thing for their bodies. And I guess, uh, how big of a hypocrite would I be if I were to, if I were to bag on uh, um, this CrossFit for being so dangerous when we you know, do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know? Every night I go to BJJ, I know I'm going to be in pain at some point, right? I'm going to be tapping. I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be doing one of these, you know, after someone <laughs> throws me in a certain move, whatever. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be putting something that's going to be like, ah, oh, shit, <laughs> you know? Not that bad or anything. I mean, obviously we tap in time, but things are still painful, and you know that. Um, so, you know, it just seems kind of, it's, it's, you know, and also, too, I mean, both these, our, our sport as well isn't, isn't dangerous. I mean, people play football, obviously. You know, it's like, and there's not a whole bunch of people standing on the sidelines or everything, um, and you have the quite the same, I guess, percentage of haters that CrossFit gets. You know, there's a lot of people, ha, ah, that's what you get for playing football, you asshole. You, you know, you blew out your knee, you separated your shoulder, that's what you get. You know, I mean, listen, you go, that's, football's a sport, you're going to get hurt as well, and, you know, it's dangerous, and it happens. So, it's just, um, it just seems that it just it just I guess I don't know trendy almost to you know to beat down on CrossFit for being unsafe. So let me give you a few more details on why though CrossFit and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu are just not a compatible match. Okay. CrossFit, whatever your thoughts on it is, it is exhausting. Okay, it takes a lot out of your body, a lot of your energy, and it definitely is a lot in it that taxes your central nervous system. And when your central nervous system is taxed, it is very difficult to recover. So when you combine doing CrossFit with BJJ, I mean, even someone in their early 20s, the, the prime fitness maybe years or whatever your life, um, not have a lot of injuries or anything, it still can be so difficult for your body to recover. There's, there's no way around it. They're both BJJ and CrossFit are two very exhausting Things. And then also, too, the other factor, guys, as we talked about, you know, CrossFit is dangerous. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is also dangerous, okay? The injuries are often likely even in both the sports. It's going to happen eventually to everyone that participates in them. So when you add a training method like CrossFit into your life, um, I mean, not only do you have BJJ, then you're, you're doubling your chances of becoming injured, okay? Both are extremely difficult, especially on the joints, okay? So that is probably, the, there's, 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 those are definitely the two biggest reasons why I do, definitely do not recommend um, just combining the two. Guys, I mean, as far as, you know, training goes and everything, for the most part, try and keep it as old school as possible. I'm telling you, it works. I mean, that's, uh, you know, follow this channel and you'll, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about over time, okay? Just the proven methods that are safe to train. And uh, just there to enhance your performance and not to, not to break your body down. Let me say this though, if you come across a CrossFit workout or workouts, because you know they do change every day, that addresses your needs, that, you know, that, that addresses maybe your weaknesses, that is, um, if for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and that workout can be done safely. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Go ahead and incorporate that into your into your training. Absolutely. Why not? Why, you know, why bother? Not, not everything done in CrossFit is dangerous, uh, but so take what's like anything. Take what's good and use it, and leave behind what can be detrimental to your training. A few weeks ago, I did do a video on the three worst exercises for BJJ, and. Some of those I, I put in there were definitely CrossFit related, so I'm gonna go leave that, that in the description box uh, for you to check out if you haven't seen it yet. You know, the thing is, guys, what we do outside our BJJ school, it just always ask you just a common sense question, you know, will this enha help enhance my game or is it gonna do something to possibly injure myself, affect my game and, and negatively in any way? So just, you know, that's what you have to do before you do anything for that matter, you know, just, it's just, um, it's just, it's keep it simple, guys. And that's, that's really about it. So anyhow, I do appreciate you watching. And as always, if I, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and we'll talk to you soon. Oh,